Um, let's get to Bob Pisani and see what's moving. Morning, Bob. Good morning, Carl. Happy Monday, everybody. Great open, 10 to 1, advancing to declining stocks. This is largely about the reopening story. Reopening stimulus, that's what's moving the stock market. Not so good last week. Better. Florida, of course, uh, about its reopening announcement. There was comments in Spain, Barcelona, uh, Madrid, rejecting calls to lock down the city there. So you see here the reopening stories. Uh, banks, uh, energy, industrials doing better. Uh, tech doing better and lagging are all defensive stuff, uh, health care, consumer staples, uh, REITs, utilities. Uh, so, again, about the, uh, the the reopening, still mega caps after a modest rally. Mega caps have had a very good week last week and again today. You see everything's up one to two percent. That's sort of the story of last week. And I called it a cynical rally last week because the cynical play last week after a modest correction in mega cap was to buy those big mega caps because they would be beneficiaries of a potential increase in cases. Last week, there was much more concerns about the lockdown, or excuse me, about the, the reopening not going as well. So if you took a take a look at last week, how these mega caps did, they all rallied in the face of believing that they would be beneficiaries in the case that in, this, in the event that the situation worsened on the reopening story. So that was last week. And this rally in the mega caps is continuing in today. We saw also outside of the mega caps, all the work from home stuff working as well last week in the belief that they would be beneficiaries in case the reopening story faltered. So if you look at last week, Zoom and Peloton and CrowdStrike and DocuSign, uh, put them up. All those did really well. They're all up again modestly today because we've got a broad rally going on. Uh, but today, it's a little bit more about that broader reopening story. If you look at those reopening names, the travel names, uh, your Deltas, your Hyatts, uh, Live Nation, the usual suspects like Avis, uh, they're all rallying modestly. But again, this was a very different story last week. None of these reopening names were doing well uh, at all. So uh, we saw if you, the same names last week had a terrible time of it. So this tells you the market is very dependent on the reopening story. And when the reopening goes bad, everybody flees to mega cap uh, and work from home. You could see this, this sort of push and pull over reopening and to a lesser extent over the stimulus story. So where are we right now? Well, I mean, look, we've four down weeks, folks. There's no getting away from it here. Uh, we are down almost 6% for the S&P for the month of September. Mega caps are down 5%. Small caps, and there's your sort of recovery play. A lot of the small caps are in the recovery sector, down 7%. So uh, first down month, if this continues since March, uh, most uh, other risk assets around the world, they're also down. Uh, so the question is, how much of the reopening story really is going to matter into October? That's the big question, the depth and duration of the reopening story. As for the this week, big stories this week, uh, <laughs> the IPOs just keep marching on here. We're going to have a very busy week. We've got almost a dozen of them coming, in two, including two direct listings. Haven't seen this for a long time here, but we've got two of them, Palantir. You know that. We've talked about it, big data analytics. Uh, and uh, Asana, which is a work management platform that's getting a lot of attention as well, that's expected to do fairly well. But we've also got some China IPOs. Yes, they're still coming here in the United States. Uh, Chin Data Group Holdings. This is a very big data center operator in China. Very interesting company, given all of the, the, the issues around China-U.S. trade. Uh, they're going to raise $500 billion. They may be $4 or $5 billion market cap here in the United States. And we've even got some conventional companies, Academy Sports and Outdoors. It's a big sporting goods companies. Uh, they're going to try to raise $250, $300 million, maybe a billion and a half to $2 billion market cap. But uh, I'm leaving out a lot of companies. There's almost a dozen of them this week. Bottom line is it's still looking like a great time to float an IPO or a direct listing in the case of Asana or Palantir.